The desire to reproduce is arguably the strongest of the needs in animals and human beings alike. Infertility has been a major medical and social preoccupation since the dawn of human existence. 25th of July 1978 thanks to the efforts of Patrick Steptoe and Robert Edwards with the birth of the first IVF baby Louis Brown at Oldham UK hope was born to millions of infertile couples around the world not many were aware that around the same time in this part of the world another team led by Dr Subhash Mukherjee was working in the same direction barely 67 days after the birth of Louis Brown Durga alias Kanupriya Agrawal India's first IVF baby and the world's second was born at Kolkata on October 3rd 1978 The similarity between the two teams ended here while Steptov and Edwards were lauded and awarded Dr Subhash Mukherjee was ridiculed ostracized and denied permission to publicize his work in the international arena the depressed physician committed suicide in 1981 recognition for his work only came 21 years later in 2002 In 1982 the Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR realizing the importance of treatment of infertility initiated a project led by Dr T C Anand Kumar and Dr Indira Hinduja at National Institute for Research in Reproductive Health Mumbai which resulted in India's first fully scientifically documented IVF baby Harsha born on 6th of August 1986 Further many advances in field of ART followed with India's first gift baby in 1988 by the same team and in the year 1994 India produced its first ICSI baby at the hands of Dr Firoza Parekh and her team at Jaslok Hospital Mumbai These scientific breakthroughs were accompanied by exponential growth in the number of fertility clinics and practitioners from just 3 IVF clinics in two metro cities in 1986 today India boasts of over 4000 centers conducting over 2 lakh cycles annually not resting on these laurels India became the second country to have a first successful uterine transplant in 2017 at Pune performed by Dr Shailesh Putambakar and his team and the first baby was born with IVF through this uterus in the year 2018 Considering the availability of ART skills in India and the affordable pricing India witnessed a boom in reproductive medicine tourism and surrogacy services for the world This prompted the need for regulations and standardization of procedures and accordingly ICMR issued its first set of ART guidelines in 2005 which were revised in 2010 moving forward in 2020 the union cabinet approved the assisted reproductive technology regulation bill and also the surrogacy bill which is expected to soon become law the rapid advances in the field of art prompted dr m n parik and 34 clinicians and scientists from across the country to form the indian society of assisted reproduction isar on 16 february 1991 at mumbai thus establishing another milestone in the indian art revolution Since then ISAR has grown from strength to strength and each successive president contributed immensely in building up the organization and furthering the purpose of its establishment that is to bring together all stakeholders to collect and disseminate information to promote education research and development for more efficient technologies to create and shape public awareness and opinion and to coordinate in regard to legal and ethical aspects of assisted reproduction today isar organizes a major annual conference and a specialized conference devoted to embryology to promote and encourage young scientists and practitioners a yuva isar conference is also organized every year along with this many csr activities for public education and awareness are conducted With a view to collate and share data in ART practices and procedures for effective regulation, the National ART Registry of India (NARI) was set up by the ISAR in 2001. In 2008, ISAR's quarterly peer-level review publication, The Journal of Human Reproductive Sciences, was launched by Dr. 
Kamini Rao, which was indexed by PubMed in 2010. The journal's website is visited by researchers from all over the world. ISAR also publishes the ISAR Express, a quarterly newsletter which provides ISAR members with the updates on relevant scientific, ethical and legal issues and activities of the society at the international, national and state levels. ISAR is part of the International Federation of Fertility Societies and actively collaborates with premier international and national societies like American Society for Reproductive Medicine, the Asia-Pacific Initiative on Reproduction, International Federation of Gynecology and Obstetrics, Indian Fertility Society, Association of Clinical Embryologists and very recently with the Upper Egypt Assisted Reproduction Society. ISAR undertakes its responsibilities of empowering its clinicians and embryologists equally and Dr. Sadna Desai Embryology Training Program, a one-year fellowship course established in 2015 is one such example, which is instrumental in building up a whole new generation of young embryologists in the country. Since 2016, clinicians have been benefiting from the ISAR Aspire Certificate course in ART. SR has recognized that the availability of trained fertility nurses and paramedical staff is critical for progressing towards better practices and better outcomes. And accordingly, a fertility nurses training program was launched in the year 2019 under the leadership of Dr. Jaydeep Malhotra and Dr. Gautam Kastagir. In 2019, SR developed two consensus statements jointly with the sister organizations IFS, ACE and FOXY. One for clinical clinicians and one for embryologist. As the years roll by, more and more questions will arise relating to the science, ethics and laws of human reproduction. And SR, with its vast pool of talented minds, is well prepared to face all such challenges. And with its focus on improvement of practices, the outcome is bound to increase the number of happy families, leading to a happier nation and ultimately a happier world.